Hey, you know, tape measures are great, but they have their limits. What if you want to measure the length of a long wall? You either got to run this thing down multiple times, have somebody go hold it, something like that, or you got to get out these rolling tape measures. What if you want to measure the height of a tall wall? You got to run this thing up and hope that it doesn't fall over on you. I'm going to show you the coolest tool I think I've ever seen on this channel, ever showed you on this channel. We're going to do that right after this. Okay, when I say this is one of the coolest tools, I really mean it. I think you guys are gonna fall in love with this. And don't skip ahead, don't skip around because you're gonna miss out on what makes this really a cool tool. Okay, what it is is a laser measure. Now don't go away because yes, I have a laser measure. It's not the same thing. This is way better. And this is a Bosch. I consider these to be one of the best. I've used this thing many times. I've gone in and, and uh, measured out whole jobs before. It'll do a lot, but this thing takes it to the next level. And I'm gonna show you why, so uh, you know, stick around here. Okay, a typical laser measure like this, they're really handy. If you guys haven't used one, if you've been on the fence and you do much contracting or even around your house, business, whatever, these are so handy. If I want to know how far it is to that wall over there, I fire this thing up. I put the laser dot over there. I push the button and that quick I know it's 25 feet, 9 inches and 11 sixteenths. They are quick and they're very accurate. More accurate than a tape measure, honestly. They do a lot more than that though. Uh, they will measure all kinds of different things. But I'm going to talk about how this one does all of that and more. So I first uh, was on a drywall job in about 1970. I was walking on stilts when I was eight years old in 1969. I used to go with my dad to help him measure out a job. And he usually measured them out in person rather than blueprints. Now when he did big commercial jobs, yeah, he got out the blueprints. As a matter of fact, somewhere I have my dad's old rolling measuring wheel. It's a little thing about this tall. I remember seeing him use this when I was a little kid. He would have the blueprints out and he'd measure out all the walls, get all the distances. But when we'd go to measure out a house, we'd often just go in there with a 100 foot tape measure. And if you do it right, you can walk through and measure it out fairly quickly. But let's say you want to measure out job site, like where the walls are already up is even handier. It's a little harder to use these when there's uh, no walls up, no drywall. When the framing's up, you can use these for a lot of reasons, but it's a little bit harder. So what I came up with is I started taking this rolling measuring wheel onto jobs and rolling them around, and you can walk around and get all the measurements. But sometimes these are much handier. Well, this one, the reason it's even more handy is it's got a number of improved functions on it and it's got a little trick up its sleeve i'm going to tell you about here in a minute but first i'm going to tell you about some of the other functions and some of these are brand new to this tool also for instance this actually has a magnetic back which could be handy in certain situations and you can see it's a pretty strong magnet so it's handy for sticking to your toolbox it could be handy for metal studs there's a number of ways you could use the magnet it's also rechargeable, which is really handy. But this one also has a cool feature, which is it has a built-in level. So I'm gonna turn this on and I'm gonna show you guys a picture of the screen here and I'll try and show you a little video of it. But basically, when I set it like this, it's telling me it's got an actual bubble level right here. It turns green when it's level and it turns red when you go a little bit tilted. Now that's not going to be super accurate but it's going to give you a rough guide but it also has an angle measurement in here and you can see in the display that I'm showing you on the screen here that it shows you the angle of tilt in degrees so like right now I'm reading 5.8 2.5 it's actually going to tell you when you're level 
but more importantly, if you want to know the pitch of a roof, the angle to cut, say, let's say you're cutting a fascia, so basically a board going up at an angle and you know it needs to be straight up and down over here, but it's an angle. What do you cut it at? This will tell you the angle that something's running like that. So it's real handy for that. This also has a nice feature, which is the screen rotates. If I turn it this way, it stays to where I can read it. You can take this into a job, which you can do with this style too, and you can measure lengths and add them together. So let's say you want to get uh, the, the running footage of trim, baseboard trim. You can go in and you measure a wall, you hit the plus, and you just keep adding, 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 and it'll tell you what the total combined uh, lineal footage of your base trim that you need is. That's always handy. I've used that many times. You can use that to calculate the board footage of your drywall if you're going to calculate that. All you got to do is get the lineal footage, the running footage, and then figure the height of that wall or all of the walls that are the same height. And you've got the total square footage but it also will measure the square footage of the floor, for example. Let's say you wanna know how much flooring to get, or you just need to know the square footage of a room. You just shoot it one way, shoot it the other, and it'll calculate the square footage for you. It'll do the same thing on a wall if you just need to know the square footage of a wall for calculating how much paint you need. It'll calculate that. Usually that was hard to do. I'm gonna show you why this one has made it so much simpler. I guarantee you guys, if you use these much, you're gonna want this one right here. I wish I'd had it years ago, but I'll tell you why in a second. And that second is now. So here's the party trick with this, and it's more than a party trick. Most of these have a laser out the back, uh, laser out the front, right? And usually you can set it up so that you put it right here and it's measuring from the back to the point where the dot, laser dot's hitting, or you can sometimes change it to where it measures from the front to where the dot's hitting. And that can be handy. Let's say I wanted to measure from right here. Instead of having to try and line that up, I just put it right here. It's going to measure from the front. But this one does more. I can hold this one in the middle of a room and it shoots a laser out that way and that way. That's the party trick that I love. Because here's the problem with the normal lasers. I, I just used one the other day in my RV. I've got another one of these. I didn't have this one with me. I wanted to measure the width of my RV inside. We're putting up skirting around all of our RV and I needed to know the width of it. Well, I had to lean over the sofa and, and do like this and try and aim it while you're leaned over. I've done that many times on a job site and it's a pain in the butt. Sometimes you can't even reach that wall so you're trying to figure out some way because it has to touch there to measure over to there. This one has two lasers. So you could stand right here. Let me turn it back on. So you can see the laser dot right there on the level five. I hope you can see that. It's right there. And I'll show you that it's shining in the camera lens too. So it's shining out front and back. But you can change it so that you only measure from here to there or from here to there or only from here to there or both it's very flexible it does so much so you combine that with the fact that you got this built-in level this pitch indicator the uh, bubble thing the bubble level and that alone makes it one of the best tools i've ever seen but let me tell you what else these things can do that make these really handy let's say i want to measure that wall over there and i know that it's about 13 feet well, normally what you would do, you'd go into the job and you'd try and run your tape up and, and you'd try and do something like measure maybe to here and then turn around and measure the other way. Or maybe you might run your tape measure up like so and you try and run it way up there and, and read it. It's not accurate. It's not a good way to do it. You get a rough idea. This thing uses some geometry. Um, basically, it calculates a three, five, four. I think it's Pythagorean's theorem of calculating a triangle. So let, let me explain that. The sum of the square roots of any two sides of an isosceles triangle is equal to the square root of the remaining side. That's a right triangle, you idiot! Oh! 
When we're laying out a, a wall, sometimes we want to get it square. And if we uh, want to get it really square, if you lay out just a normal framing square, that's not very accurate. It only goes this far. You can be off by quite a bit. It's a little more accurate to do a three, four, five, meaning you measure uh, three foot one way, four foot another way, and then you measure out five foot. And when the, the five foot connects this point to this point, you have a perfect right angle. And the reason is that that formula, the sum of the squares of any two sides of a right triangle is equal to the square of the remaining side. So let's do that calculation. Three squared is nine, four squared is 16. The sum of the two sides, nine plus 16 is 25. Now the square of 25 is five, so three, four, five. So how do you use that? Well, you stand here and you point this at the base of the wall. And then without moving your position too much, you point it up at the peak of the wall. And it simply takes those formulas, calculates it, and it'll tell you how high that wall is. It's a really handy function, especially when you got a really high wall. So hey, I'm gonna put a link to this in the description down below. Now this is a sponsored video. I wanna thank this company for sending this to me, but honestly, I am glad to have it. This is, like I say, one of the coolest things I've, I've received. I could use this a lot on a job site. And hey, by the way, I have recently released a book called Understanding Drywall Tools and Materials. So if you need help with understanding what tools and what materials you need, which ones you don't, and how to save money on them, I'm going to help you out with that book. I'll put a link to that in the description down below also. Hey, I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care, everybody.